Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Crusader Kings 2 Holy Fury, and boy, we just, in the last episode, we got a big expansion here, because, um, this dude, not him, but your dad, just took over a lot of, um, land, uh, for some reason. I guess he inherited, served, I don't know, I don't know what happened there, but, um, he got it, and, uh, boy, he just got all that land for us. And uh, then he very uh, quickly died, uh, very shortly after that. And his land got broken up between um, his sons. So um, where we had this one powerful duke that had, like, everything, uh, this land over here is now under a different duke. That land over there is under a different duke. And uh, this guy, he got broken out as well. And uh, he is his own duke now. So it actually worked out pretty well. Um, that is what was giving us the problem, though, with um, being over our vassal limit. Um, let's see. Is there... Um, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for this, but I want that. There we go. Is your... That high chiefdom is currently owned by this guy who is over there. All right, can we take that? That one. I want to take that. Why? Because he's at war. All right, and that would probably cost money as well. Uh, what about you? Is yours controlled by him as well? No, it doesn't exist. Okay, so that explains that. So, yeah, I want to hold on to that land. Um, what's the de jure duchies? duchies. All right, so it's this one and it's that one. They're both relatively small. Uh, you are a duke. You're a duke. And you're a duke. I guess we could give you to maybe this guy. Uh, transfer vassalage of Chalidi. And I think this is my, my buddy, the guy that I was trying to become friends with. Um, it wasn't, no, it was this guy, this guy. So this guy, we'll, we'll put him underneath you. And, um, this area over here, you currently have three provinces. Uh, let's give you um, this kid and let's give you that guy um, my buddy all right he's probably mad at me because I fired him from the council anyway that'll get him completely off my back All right, and that should take care of that. It does. And now we just have a whole bunch of dukes underneath us. Um, is that my land? That is my land. This is all my land. And uh, let's see, I've got this province and this province. I would actually like to trade those two for these two. Uh, but I'm having problems doing that right now. Let's see, you've got heirs and stuff, so it wouldn't be any good to kill you. What is my chancellor doing? He is performing statecraft. He doesn't need to do that anymore because we don't have any threats. So let's get you fabricating claims on that. Actually, I think I'd rather have that one. But you're already there, so you will work on that. Um, let's see. You want to arrange a marriage between you and you? Who are you? You're my sister. Um, oh, okay. We probably already uh, have that going. Let's go ahead and accept that. We'll get rid of that sister. If we claim that was over there, we have a claim there that we can't do because we have a treaty with that guy, and this guy is bad shape there. All right, so I think I think that's all good. Uh, we'll let that go, and I do want to expand in this episode. Maybe just uh, we'll do some some tributary wars. Seems like something we should probably do. All right, so uh, we'll do that just right on the other side of the intro. Hi, 
have a brand new daughter. Um, she is weak. <laughs> Boy, not very good genetics in my family. Um, decided to exile somebody. Boy, I would like to exile people. Do I have people that I can imprison? I can imprison you. You have 47 gold. Uh, you're the leader of a plot. Uh, we can imprison you because you're the leader of a plot. Uh, you've got 157 gold. Uh, you are my mother. You are the leader of a plot. Uh, what do we got going on here as far as plots are concerned? Does anybody join your stuff? Is there any of these that I really care about? Not so much. Um, you. Elder Inglehard. Are we getting along? Uh, this is the one we want. Uh, Inglehard. Is that you? Yes. You like us. Um... Okay, good. We only got one guy that doesn't like us, and it's this guy. And uh, nobody cares about him. All right, so um, let's see. Let's switch back over to diplomatic mode. And we got we got possible battles we could do with you. And uh, we can actually go against you. You're my... Um... Wait a minute. Oh, uh, there we go. You're my brother-in-law. Uh, we can fight against you. You want control of a high chieftain. Um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think. We can't declare war, why not? We have a non-aggression. All right, so I don't even know why that's showing up as yellow. Uh, we have a war with you. It's probably the claim one. Yeah, way over there. That um, seems kind of silly to me. Um, I think I want to do, like, um, a couple of little smaller wars here, just to go ahead and, and expend our, extend our tributaries out. Can we extend our tributaries out, like, this far? Can we... Uh, let's see, do you have a vassal? Clear war. We just, uh, yeah, you're just too far away. Uh, what about on the other side of the map here? Uh, what about you? Do we have any war with you we can declare? No. All right, but we do on the islands. So um, let's just do that. Because if we don't, somebody else will. And we have nothing better to do right now. So uh, let's 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 do that. Um, fleet levies. Uh, we have eighty-one. Let's just go ahead and raise these right now, just to get you guys over here. Because I think um, up here is, uh, I think we can we can win just by taking over this area up here. We don't even have to make it to the islands. And if we do, we can turn out our troops later. And actually considering, let's leave you, you, and you there. And send you guys on. I'm going to leave those guys back because uh, they're going to do the thing where they go directly for our capital. I just have a funny feeling. All right, and we'll get you guys up here. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll run up the boot and attack them. Maybe not so far off the boot. Let's go up to Genoa. Yep, see, I knew it. They're going to come for us. I uh, hope they don't have a lot. Boy, they're pretty aggressive by that, aren't they? Okay, they actually have more troops. The problem was is that they had no morale because they were doing a amphibious assault. That's actually going to work out greatly to our favor. And uh, we can just mow the rest of their troops down. They've been praising me. That's good. I always need some praising. I'm, I'm quite praiseworthy. I don't know what the conditions are in order to establish a legendary bloodline. I probably need to look into that. I think probably need to be doing a lot more 
killing and things like that than we're, we are currently doing. Hey, we got somebody. Uh, do you have any gold? You do. All right, we'll... Um, Uh, do you have any gold? You've got lots of gold. All right, I don't want to sacrifice the ones that, that have a lot of money. Because we can't take their money, right? You guys just beeline for their capital. And uh, you guys down here just continue to chase down that army. Uh, your vast bowl has expressed her dissatisfaction with my choice of advisors um, from the jail. Uh, she claims that she is more qualified. Are you in my jail? I don't think so. No, you're imprisoned by some other person. Yeah, you just you just stay in there. Stay in there and be in jail. Uh, 54% war score so far, just kind of mowing down these. I, I imagine that's probably where the bulk of the war score came from. I guess probably some of our ally victories up here have helped a bit. And uh, we'll get his capital siege down. That will be a large part of it. And we'll just continue to mow down that force right there. Somebody died? My sister died in battle. You were sending my sister out to battle. Oh, she was part of the forest walkers, though. And she had a crazy marshal. Died in battle against Chief Thetmar. Who are you currently fighting? You are doing a prepared invasion, huh? This guy up here? Chief Thetmar. Of yeah. This guy. You. You killed my sister. Does that count? Does that show? Yeah. Alright, we gotta think about that. Can we kill you? No. Alright, we'll remember you. Uh, let's see, how do we do that? We do a... Uh, what a character option. What's that? Uh... That's not interesting to me. Special interest. You're the guy that killed my uh, killed my sister. Probably won't do anything about that. Um, <laughs> just like I just like the fact that I can. Um, has uh, that guy has had the sword of the ancient one added to their treasury? Interesting. Oh, and uh, boy, he's uh. He's moving on up, eh? You know what? Let's uh, let's not do that anymore. That just seems silly. I don't know what that's for. I guess it's to make people like you, and and that works. But um, they won't they won't become my friend. <laughs> Which is a shame because I've had that forever, and. Uh, I don't know. I guess, um... Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll sacrifice you because you're, you're worthless. All right, there is our war uh, one. Let's see, we should have some prisoners that we can get rid of. We can ransom you for 70 gold. We can ransom you for 10. And we can ransom you for 70 as well. See, that's why you don't... Um, that's why you don't sacrifice those people. And we'll let that go through. And once that goes through, we will, uh... Once that goes through, we will, uh... Go ahead and... Alright, so we got more tributaries. Fantastic. Go ahead and drop you guys. All right, so you're giving me gold now. Now getting eight in tribute. 
that's actually pretty good. I think actually that that right there gives us more than this guy. Uh, it's because you're feudal? No, you're still tribal. Still tribal, but um, I forget with the shield. I think it's you're not pagan. You're a different uh, you're a different religion altogether. Arm thugs attacked you. Oh, that's the guy. All right, so we don't have marriage ties with this guy anymore. He is no longer our brother-in-law. Um, he hasn't remarried yet, but I don't think we really have anybody that uh, can send over to him that he would really care about. Want the 63-year-old woman? No, I didn't think so. Now considered properly peasant. Your niece. Niece. My niece. I see. Okay, so when she died, that land went to this side, and you are still in the family. Yeah, you wouldn't have inherited that. Yeah, the daughter would have. Okay, but now that goes. Gotcha. Understand. Complete understanding right now. Boy, it almost seems like it would be in this guy's best interest to take out his daughter. Now, why is my sister in prison? Hmm. Don't know. All right, let's see. What else did we need to do? We needed to duel someone. Let's see if he is available for a duel. He is. All right, let's do that. Uh, my leg hurts, but it somehow doesn't seem as bad as what my opponent is suffering. I'm not done, he says, all with through gritted teeth, but then lies back down on the ground, throwing his dull spear to the side. When I step closer, he sputters, no, no, I'm done, I yield. Yay, we won. 15 prestige, and um, poor guy gets hurt. Uh, I didn't get hurt, did I? No, I did. Oh, well, it'll, it'll, it'll all be good here soon. And that gave us uh, special renown bucks. And uh, we passed that mission. My liege, loyal servants such as I surely deserve some recognition. I, oh, you want me to get rid of uh, my titles, huh? You want... Reggio? That's this right here, right? No, you can't have that. Um, I'm at my... Yeah, I'm still under my domain limit. Never really liked beggars anyway. Now, that's our land there. And we have six out of six. That's, that's what the problem is. We want to stay up to our domain limit because that gives us more troops. Um, after the duel, High Chief Athishin, High Chieftain asked me for some advice on fighting. I was a little taken back. I'd happily offered to train with him. On occasion, today he thanks me for a good, being a good teacher. And friend, he asks. Hey, did we become a friend? Maybe it's starting to become a friend. Uh, you want land too? No. You would like to get betrothed to the other sister? You. Yes. Yeah, we can we can do that. You're a good brother-in-law. Calling in favors? Man, you've got all kinds of stuff going on. Not only killing my sister. Uh, let's see, do I have any kills? Oh, wow, look at that. Personal combat. Died in the dungeons. Oh, that counts that as well. Burn on the stake. Died in the dungeons. Oh, that's 
not fun. Uh, we have prisoners. Do we want to... Any, any interesting ones? We've got her. We've got her. These are all people that I assume belong to you. Yes. Probably be a friendly gesture for us to release those. Uh, let's just get them out. Um, let you go. Let you go. Um, I guess your dad still doesn't have enough money to, to free you. And it doesn't look like he's working really hard to, um, to gain that. I guess it would probably be a friendly gesture just to let him go as well. Praising Rudolph. Claiming that he would make a better Grand Chief than I. Did I imprison you for that? No. You're just going to be a jerk. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I am sick. Nice. Um, I will see you in the next episode where we will probably die. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.